What does the Bible say about relationships before marriage? Marriage, Bible, PDF, Quiz. What does the Bible say about relationships before marriage? The Bible speaks extensively about the importance of relationships in individuals' lives, particularly in developing healthy and meaningful ones before marriage. In the Old Testament of the Bible, God stresses the importance of developing relationships with others, as it is the foundation of strong marriages. In the New Testament, Jesus breaks down further the importance of marriage in his teachings and encourages couples to seek guidance from God in their relationships before marriage. Numerous verses throughout the Bible emphasize the need to form meaningful relationships that are based on mutual respect and trust, not just physical attraction. The Bible also provides wisdom on how to handle situations of conflict in relationships, how to remain humble, and how to make sure the relationship is based on God's will. Ultimately, the Bible encourages individuals to look to God for guidance in their relationships before marriage, as He is the ultimate source of knowledge and understanding. What does the Bible say about relationships before marriage for many of us? Relationships are an important part of our lives. They influence our decisions, shape our values, and offer us companionship and comfort. However, relationships can also be difficult to navigate, and it is important to be aware of how the Bible speaks to these matters. In this article, we will explore the Bible's teachings on relationships before marriage, including what God says about premarital sex, how to establish a strong relationship with your boyfriend or girlfriend, the benefits of waiting to have sex until marriage, and more. Marriage in the Bible God's plan for relationships before we look at what the Bible says about relationships before marriage, it is important to understand the Bible's view of marriage itself. Marriage is seen as a holy union between a man and a woman, established by God and blessed by Him. According to the Bible, marriage is meant to represent the relationship between Christ and the Church, with each spouse reflecting the love of God in their relationship. Marriage has been an important part of human life since the dawn of civilization. The Bible, specifically the Old Testament, is filled with stories about marriage and the role of marriage in society. Society. In the Bible, marriage is seen as a covenant between a man and a woman, and is something that is to be respected and esteemed. Marriage in the Bible begins with the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. This is where God sees the need for companionship and so he creates a woman to be a helper for the man. Adam and Eve are the first couple to enter into a marriage covenant, which establishes the foundation of marriage in the Bible. The Bible also speaks of other marriages, such as the marriage of Abraham and Sarah, as well as Isaac and Rebekah. These marriages were seen as a representation of God's love for his people, and were a sign of faithfulness to the covenant he had made with them. In the New Testament, Jesus' teachings on marriage are very clear. He states that a marriage should be a sacred union between one man and one woman and that it is not to be broken. He also makes it clear that marriage is intended for life, and divorce is only permissible in cases of adultery. The Bible also emphasizes the importance of a marriage covenant, as seen in the marriage of Joseph and Mary. They were legally wed and it was not until after she was found to be pregnant that Joseph discovered that Mary was pregnant with the Son of God. Despite this, Joseph still married her, showing the importance of a marriage covenant. Marriage in the Bible is seen as a gift from God and something that should be respected and esteemed. It is a lifelong commitment between a man and a woman and is seen as a representation of God's love for his people. As such, it is important to understand the history of marriage as described in the Bible and to honor its importance in our lives today. What does the Bible say about a married couple's relationship? The Bible has a lot to say about marriage, but it also has plenty to say about how couples should interact with each other in a marriage. The Bible teaches that married couples should honor each other, serve each other, and be faithful to one another. It encourages couples to have a deep respect and love for each other, and it places a high priority on communication. Communication. Communication is essential in a healthy marriage as it allows couples to express their feelings, needs, and desires. Effective communication helps build a strong connection and trust between partners. It also allows couples to resolve conflicts and make decisions together. Respect. Respect is another important factor in a healthy marriage. Respect means acknowledging and appreciating your partner, even in difficult situations. Respect should be unconditional and should not be based on the other person's actions. Compromise. Compromise is essential in any successful relationship. It requires both partners to be willing to make changes and come to a mutual agreement that is acceptable to both parties. Intimacy. Intimacy is an important part of a marriage and it goes beyond physical contact. Intimacy is sharing emotional and physical connection that allows couples to express their love and affection for each other. Support. Supportive partners are essential in a successful marriage. This means being there for your partner when they need you, offering emotional and practical support, and encouraging their goals and dreams. Commitment. Commitment is vital in any marriage, as it shows your partner that you are dedicated to the relationship. It is important to be honest and faithful to your partner, and to make sure that you are both on the same page about the relationship. Shared values. Couples who share similar values and beliefs tend to have stronger marriages. Shared values help create common goals and a deeper understanding between partners. Mutual interests. 
Having mutual interests can help bring couples closer together and create a stronger bond. It can also help provide a sense of purpose and direction in the marriage. Bible verses about relationships before marriage The Bible is quite clear on its stance regarding relationships before marriage. One of the most well-known verses about this topic is 1 Corinthians 6 18, which reads, Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. This verse speaks to the importance of abstaining from premarital sex, as it is an act that goes against God's will. List of examples of couples that had relationships before marriage in the Bible Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were the first man and woman, created by God in the Garden of Eden. They lived together in perfect harmony until the serpent tempted them to eat the forbidden fruit, which resulted in their expulsion from the garden and the beginning of their journey to marriage. Abraham and Sarah. Abraham and Sarah were married for many years, but had no children until God performed a miracle and Sarah became pregnant with their son. Isaac. Jacob and Rachel. Jacob and Rachel were in love before they got married, but Jacob had to work seven years in order to marry Rachel. Joseph and Mary. Joseph and Mary were betrothed before the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and told her she was to be the mother of Jesus. Samson and Delilah. Samson and Delilah fell in love. Delilah betrayed Samson by revealing the secret of his strength to the Philistines. David and Bathsheba. David and Bathsheba had an affair while David was married to another woman. They eventually married after she became pregnant with their son, Solomon. Ruth and Boaz. Ruth and Boaz were not married, but Ruth was determined to marry Boaz, and he eventually agreed. They went on to have a successful marriage. God's view on premarital sex and sexual immorality The Bible clearly states that premarital sex is wrong and is seen as a sin in God's eyes. This is because God sees sex as a sacred act that should only take place between a married couple. It is important to note that the Bible does not condemn sexual desire, but rather, it condemns sexual activity outside of marriage. Violation of God's law. The Bible is clear that sex before marriage is a violation of God's law. In the book of Exodus, God tells us that fornication is an abomination and a sin against Him. Exodus 20:14. Loss of purity. In 1 Corinthians 6:18, Paul encourages believers to flee from sexual immorality as it will strip them of their purity and holiness. Broken covenant. God's design for marriage is for it to be a lifelong covenant between a man and a woman. When sex is engaged in before marriage, it breaks this covenant and can lead to a lot of heartbreak. Damage to future relationships. Having multiple sexual partners before marriage can lead to an inability to trust in future relationships. The Bible also talks about the importance of guarding our hearts. Proverbs 4.23. Unhealthy dependency. Premarital sex can lead to an unhealthy dependency on the other person that can be difficult to break once the relationship ends. This can lead to a cycle of unhealthy relationships and can damage future marriages. Unwanted pregnancy and STDs. One of the most serious risks of engaging in premarital sex is the possibility of an unwanted pregnancy or contracting a sexually transmitted disease. Both of these can have serious consequences for all involved. Father, grandfather, minister, missionary, deacon, elder, author, welcome to our family. View all posts.